September 11th, 2001. A day of grief. A day of courage. This is how that day unfolded. My daughter called me. She said, uh, a plane just flew into the World Trade Center. I said, nah, you gotta be kidding. It's gotta be a pipe, a cub, or some clown was flying down the river. At 8.46 a.m., American Airlines Flight 11 from Boston, with 92 aboard, traveling at a speed of 470 miles per hour, strikes the North Tower of the World Trade Center complex. Within minutes, officials coordinate the citywide emergency response. Their base of operations is a state-of-the-art command center located on the 23rd floor of 7 World Trade Center. With one tower in flames, the tragedy is only beginning. It is 9.03 when United Airlines Flight 175, with 65 aboard, traveling at the speed of 590 miles per hour, smashes into the south tower of the World Trade Center. This aircraft strikes the corner of the south tower. It rips a diagonally shaped gash from the 84th to the 78th floors. The south tower lasts only 56 minutes before it succumbs at 9.59 a.m. A dust cloud billows outward for blocks. Victims stagger away. At 10.28, the television mast atop the North Tower spears straight down. Once the collapse started, there really wasn't any way to stop it. It was just going to go all the way down once it got started. Chaos in New York City. Power is down in Lower Manhattan. Phone lines jammed with more than 230 million calls. Hundreds of firefighters trapped in the towers. Hundreds more race to the sea. Falling debris from the collapse of the North and South Towers ignites fires in the neighboring buildings of the World Trade Center. World Trade 4, 5, and 6 are ablaze. World Trade 7, the building housing the city's command center, burns unchecked for seven hours. At 5.20, it collapses. The city's emergency nerve center is destroyed. Somewhere in that time, and it's very hard to keep track of time during this, they had been ordered to evacuate number seven by the Port Authority. To this day, we don't know who gave that order, but whoever it was saved a lot of people's lives. With New York a war zone, some residents walk across the Brooklyn Bridge to get out of the city. Others seek escape in vessels piloted by the Army Corps of Engineers. At 7.45 p.m., the New York Police Department says 78 officers are missing and estimates that 200 firefighters are dead. At 10.56 p.m., police officials say they believe there are victims alive in the rubble of the World Trade Center. Working with urban search and rescue teams, there was a lot of areas to be searched underneath the debris field. There were voids that had to be searched for possible live people. September 11th, 2001, the longest and most tragic day in New York's history is drawing to a close. It's a fifer, videotaping. It was just another call, and writing was the battalion chief. It was basically camera practice. See, Jules had only been shooting for a few weeks. Before that, Gideon was the main cameraman. Every time the battalion goes, I go. 
you know, just need to practice. So I shoot. I don't stop. We checked the area with meters, and it, it was kind of routine and um, pretty simple. It was 8.46 in the morning. And then we heard a plane come over, and in Manhattan, you don't hear planes too often, especially loud ones. Just before 10 a.m., a call comes through from the vice president. I could hear a noise on the phone. I looked around, and I could see that the desk in front of me was sh uh, shaking. I didn't know what that was. going under the desk. I heard the chief of the department yell, the tower has come down. The tower has come down. Look like nuclear cloud. It's like gray smoke coming toward the building. Things flying through the street, things hitting the side of the building, and then all of a sudden it became dark outside. It went totally dark outside. but I can still run. <laughs> There's gotta be fire a trap back there, though. When the chief said the tower came down, I didn't think he meant the entire Twin Tower. There are big radio towers on the top. And I thought those towers had come down and hit our building. The 10-second collapse instantly kills hundreds of civilians and emergency personnel. This loud, this loud thunder. We looked up, and the, the top of the half of the building was actually coming down like dominoes, and it just fell over to the left. And everybody started running. It was, it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. Fighting, accusing, denying I 
can't imagine a world with you gone The joy and the chaos, the demons were made up I'd be so lost if you left me alone You locked yourself in the bathroom Lying on the floor when I break through I pull you in to feel your heartbeat Can you hear me screaming, please don't leave me Hold on, I still want you Come back, I still need you. 